we will we are continuing on our uh, journey of learning about the uh, learning about energy so we are going to learn more about um, energy today but to start off our lesson with the joke so what time do ducks get up in the morning they get up at the quack of dawn yeah, that was lame. Um, <laughs> remember grade fours. If you have any questions, please email them to grade four at worksheetcloud.com. Okay, are you ready to rock and roll? Let's go. Okay, so today we are going to look at different forms of energy. Remember yesterday we spoke about energy and we defined energy as the ability to do work. Okay, yesterday we also had a look at solar energy specifically and how we use solar energy um, and why it is so important. We also had a look at food chains and why looking why identifying food chains is important in an environment and when we represent a food chain we represent it with arrows between the organisms and the arrows mean or show how energy is transferred from one organism to another right and the flow of energy within an ecosystem and from one living thing to another we also spoke about fossil fuels and how the fossil fuels that we use today in the form of coal oil and natural gas fossil fuels were created by plants and animals that used that solar energy from the sun millions of years ago they died and got buried and with it added pressure and temperature it then um, transformed the the fossils into coal oil and gas that we use today okay so we are going to now look at different forms of energy because energy can come in many different forms and we're going to touch on some of the most important ones and the commonly discussed forms of energy today so we are going to start off with light energy we're going to move on to heat energy then kinetic energy sound energy potential energy and electrical energy so we're going to go through all those types of energies today now in front of you you have got a picture of a, what looks like a very busy intersection or a very busy street and buildings and it looks like people are either celebrating because they're coming out of lockdown <laughs> but there's lots that is going on in this particular picture now i want you to take a moment Pause the picture if you want to and really study the picture. What do you see? Um, what do you see happening? What, what are some of the people doing? Um, what are they carrying? Are, have they got something in their hands? Uh, are they, what are they doing with certain objects? You can even see certain objects flying around such as this airplane over here. So take a moment, pause and I want you to just really evaluate the picture and let's see what you see okay so I hope that you did pause the video so I'm going to show you what I see so I see an airplane that with these lines in a drawing shows that it's moving okay so I see an airplane then I see this girl on top of the roof she looks like she's having a bit of a tan um, or yeah she's having a tan reading a book or it could be at night maybe because there is a candle that is burning I see this lady here in the picture looks like she's drying her hair with a hairdryer I see this man is crossing the road with his bicycle uh, this man over here or well, this person is on a motorbike and he is traveling on a motorbike this person here is on the phone and he's talking away this person is playing a musical instrument looks like the guitar um, here is a man here looks like he's cooking what looks like could possibly be some borovos making a delicious borovos roll um, What else do we have this lady is flying a kite holding balloons in the air This person is pouring water on this one's head uh, This one's running away what looks like from the pill that look, could be a policeman uh, So he's running away over there. We see the words beep beep uh, so it looks like this person is going through those sort of scanning things when you uh, leave the shop 
uh, when you enter or leave a shop. I don't, for the life of me, I don't know what it's called right now. Those detectors. Um, this person's just standing here staring at what is doing so a little bit of window shopping, what's happening there in the window. Um, yeah, so there is plenty of things that is happening in this particular scene and in this picture. And the reason why I wanted you to really evaluate this picture and see what is happening is because there are so many different forms of energy that is taking place in this picture. And so we are going to dive right into that. Okay, so the forms of energy that we're going to be looking at, as I've mentioned in the objectives, we're going to look at light energy. We are going to look at heat energy. We're going to look at kinetic energy. And another word for kinetic is sort of movement energy. We're going to look at sound energy, uh, potential energy and then electrical energy. So those are the different forms that we're going to be looking at today. There are other forms such as chemical energy um, and so on, but we're not going to go into that. You will brush up on the other forms of energy later on or next year in grade five. Right. Okay. So we're going to start off with light energy and what's important to know about light energy is that Anything around you that gives off a light, gives off light energy. From a candle, to the lights in your room, to the sun, to absolutely anything that emits, we say emit, gives off, emits light, um, we see it's light energy, okay, gives off light energy. Light energy travels in rays and some of these rays can be seen so we can see it with visible light and then there are also rays that we cannot see and those that we cannot see we call them UV light. Now UV light is very harmful for your skin, for, for all of our skins and one of the most important things to know with UV light is always to put sunscreen on when you step outside because um, the sun emits that solar energy that, that comes, uh, that gets absorbed by the atmosphere and the earth, that solar energy um, is then transferred into UV light uh, energy. And the specific UV light is dangerous for our skin. Okay. So, as I mentioned before, that light comes from a light source. Light energy comes from any light source. Anything that produces light is called a source of light. Different sources of light include the sun, the stars, a fire, candle, an electrical bulb. So you can see here, this is a gorgeous picture of a, a bright sun, a um, picture of a city that is well lit up and it's beautiful taken from above. So remember that we get light energy from anything that emits light. Right, moving on to thermal energy or what we also call heat energy. Okay, so anything with a temperature that is above minus 273 degrees has heat energy. Believe it or not, temperatures can get very, very cold. And we do have a temperature that is minus 273 degrees. Can you just imagine how cold that is? And even then, the moment that the temperature starts to climb, even um, places that have got a temperature such as that shows that there is heat energy. Okay. Now that means that there has to be some sort of heat energy even in those cold areas. The sun provides us with light, but it also provides us with heat. Anything that provides us with heat is a form of heat energy. So the sun not only provides us with heat energy and light energy, um, but we also have other um, things such as a fire. Fire we can also see, so it gives us light energy, and we also have heat energy. It's nice and warm and um, toasty, especially now coming into winter. We're gonna you're gonna feel a lot of the heat energy coming into winter. Either you're gonna um, see or feel fires. You're going to have your heaters around your house or electric blankets or hot water bottles, just hot water in itself. If you cook any cooking that you do on a stove or on a fire. Again, that is heat energy that is being emitted, 
right so heat energy anything that is warm or gives that warmth um, provides that heat energy now moving on to kinetic energy so kinetic energy is another uh, word to describe kinetic energy is movement or moving movement energy basically but we don't say movement energy it sounds strange so we call it kinetic energy okay and it means anything that moves has got kinetic energy it can be you playing football or cricket or rugby or just running around in your garden it can be animals moving anything that moves has kinetic energy it can be objects right it can be a car that is moving it doesn't necessarily have to be living remember energy exists in many forms all around us in absolute absolutely every everywhere every object every person every living thing every non-living thing has energy right and the one thing about energy that i'm going to come back to at the end of this but listen to me very carefully energy cannot be created or destroyed it can only be transferred from one form to another right so energy it can't be destroyed it cannot be made it is always transferred from one form to another so from your solar energy uh, gets transferred or transformed into light or heat energy that then also gets transformed into something else right so that is the number one principle of energy so kinetic energy anything that is moving that you see moving even the the leaves that are blowing on the trees outside those leaves have got kinetic energy they are moving anything that moves has got kinetic energy okay now we come on to sound energy okay i'm not going to sing because i probably will put you off signs and i might even break the screen in which you're watching this so not even going to go there right okay so sound is energy that makes substances vibrate sound energy travels as vibrations that we can hear and sometimes we even feel different vibrations produce different sounds such as the sound we hear from musical instruments or simply by talking so boys and girls sound energy is something that also exists anything that you hear where there is a sound from you listening to the sound of my voice to hearing maybe some movement outside your room or outside wherever you are sitting to the sound from the TV to the sound of birds chirping to anything that produces a sound produce, um, gives off sound energy that is also an energy that, that we get um, and that would be, is what we call sound energy. Now it says here that it makes substances vibrate. So you might think but um how is, how what is vibrating as i'm speaking for example so remember that air also is vibrating as i'm i'm speaking um, and that sound energy is emitted as i'm speaking and so sound energy travels in waves and um you go into a little bit more detail with your different sound waves in grade seven i think it is seven yes um and high school and so sound energy is all around us so just remember the fact that you're listening to the sound of my voice is sound energy okay moving on to potential energy right so potential energy is quite an amazing uh type of energy because it actually goes hand in hand with kinetic energy. So what do I mean by that? Potential energy, we say, the easiest way to explain it, and I'm gonna go through the writing now, but the, the easiest way to explain a potential energy, it is an object, whether it's living or non-living, that has the potential to do work. So we also call it stored energy. So any object, um, living or non-living, that is, say not moving it's in a resting sort of phase it's got energy at the moment and it has potential to do work the moment that object moves that potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy right so let's read it says energy is also stored in some sources in some sources 
is known as potential energy. Potential energy is the energy that is stored in our food, in petrol, in wood, oil, and other chemicals. This stored energy can be used for so many different purposes. So always remember any energy that is stored, even the chemicals in a battery that you use, those chemicals that is potential energy that is in the battery, the moment you put a battery in a device, that is then turned into your chemical energy. And depending on what that battery does, it could um, be part of your remote, could be then converted into electrical energy, or whatever the case is so potential energy it's that energy that has the potential to do work it has the potential to be transferred into a different type another kind of energy and it's also otherwise known as stored energy okay will you remember that potential energy so if you have a look at the picture it explains it quite well because it says here the potential energy uh there's a little arrow so as you pull the bow and arrow backwards at that point where that arrow hasn't hasn't moved okay it's waiting it's got potential energy the moment you release it and that arrow then shoots through the air it's traveling it's got kinetic energy and it's converted but we will do energy transfers in our lessons coming up right and then lastly we are looking at electrical energy okay so electrical energy is what as the name suggests it involves electricity okay good now electrical energy is very useful because it can easily be converted into various other forms wherever a current is flowing there is electrical energy so whether it is that lady that was drying her hair in the window that hair dryer it's using electrical energy you'll hear the hair dryer convert into sound heat energy and so on okay um but electrical energy is can be used for anything wherever there is a current that is flowing um in electricity we talk about currents and wherever there's a current flowing electrical energy is passing through that current and so we have electrical energy that we can use it um, with any electrical device okay now the activity that i want you to do today and i hope that you are listening up is wherever you are in your house um, even if you just open up the window to your house and just put your head outside and just listen to the world around you or see the world around you i want you to try and identify all the different types of energies that you have learned today where in your house do you see light energy where do you see or experience or feel heat energy where do you see electrical energy um where do you see potential energy kinetic energy or sound energy and that is what i just want you to do today with this topic i want you to explore and i want you to take what you've learned and i want you to apply it remember science is all about application it is applying what you know um learn and learning something but then taking it outside of the realms of a classroom or outside of the realms of the device in which you are watching me so grade fours i want you to explore your world i want you to get excited about science get excited about energy um and just have fun ask questions all the time remember what i said to you science is about asking questions all the time why does this happen how does this happen um when does this happen and so on ask questions because if you don't ask questions and you're just going to be um, you're just going to settle for answers. You're never going to explore or want to know more. And so that's it's so important to want to be a continuous learner no matter how old you are. Anyways, that's it for me. Uh, I hope that you have a wonderful day. And I shall see you all tomorrow. Remember to be kind to one another. And my famous words, Hakuna Matata. Bye, grade fours.